Hi, welcome back to Lawyer's Lens. Today we're gonna to talk about a tool that you can use to make sure that things get done in your firm and spot problems where things aren't getting done. I'm talking, of course, about an organizational chart, which sounds so boring, but it's actually a really useful tool and exercise that everyone should do, including the solos. So let me tell you a little bit more about org charts. Now, the way to approach it is to start with your CEO box at the top or your firm leader at the top, and then fill out different columns for each type of work you do at the firm. Now, most solos and small firms are going to have at least three, right? You've got marketing, you've got your administrative work, and you've got your client services. You may have more, but you're probably gonna have at least three. And now start putting names in boxes of those roles. So if you're solo, obviously it's going to be your name in most or all of the boxes. And if you're a small firm, hopefully you're sprinkling a few more names in there. So the point of this exercise and the reason to do this is to identify what are the roles that aren't getting filled, that aren't actually getting done. Because the org chart, another way to think about it is that it's accountability. So whose job is it to make sure that the marketing happens? Whose job is it to make sure that the administrative work happens and the client service? Most lawyers do a great job of client service, but a lot of small firms are not necessarily devoting time and resources to those other roles. The reason to do an org chart and the reason why it's helpful to outline all those roles and those lines of accountability is because if the marketing's not getting done, you need to take some time and stop and figure out how to get it done. It doesn't have to be a full-time job or three full-time jobs or even a half-time job, but it needs to get done. There needs to be a plan to make this done. And if you're solo, you can focus on leverage. How can we make this happen without putting a lot of time into it? Or if you're a small firm and you have more needs, then maybe it's more active and you actually do need to put somebody in that seat. So an org chart helps you do this. And I think the exercise for solos is especially useful because I don't need to tell you that you have a lot of hats and that you're having trouble getting all of the work done. But when you lay it all out in front of you and actually see all of the different hats you're wearing, because by the time you're done and you're really thinking through all the different roles, you're probably going to find your name in a dozen boxes because under your operations or your administrative work, you're gonna have an accountant and a bookkeeper and um, somebody who does the filing and, and whatever titles you decide to put in those roles. And under client service, you have the managing, uh, the litigation manager, and you probably have the second chair for trials and you have the paralegal or the research assistant or whatever. So you're gonna have a lot of roles that have your face in them or your name on them. And it's really valuable, I think, to see all of that. And it can really help you start making decisions about where to put your time, where you might be able to hire help, whether it's a contractor or technology or a system. You need to find ways to get that work done, even if you can't do it yourself. So take some time and sit down and sketch out an org chart when you've got a quiet hour or two to do it. Or make room in your schedule so that you do have a quiet hour or two to do it and then put together an org chart. And even if it isn't the kind of thing that you end up plastering on a wall and pointing at at important meetings, I think the exercise of doing it will be helpful to you in or thinking about how you wanna organize your firm. So that's it for this week. Lawyerist is building the community of solo and small firm entrepreneurs. And if you wanna join that community, head on over to lawyerist.com, click on community and join the Lawyerist Insider. In addition to joining the community, we will give you some free resources and we can invite you to join our private Facebook group for solo and small firm insiders. Check it out.